In this video, we'll explore the two main approaches to hypothesis testing, the p-value approach and the critical value approach. Both methods lead to the same conclusion, but they use different ways to get there. For instance, let's say you want to test whether a new drug lowers blood pressure. The null hypothesis states that here is no difference in the average blood pressure of patients before and after taking the new drug, while the alternative hypothesis states that the average blood pressure after taking the drug is lower. You would then collect a sample of patients, measure their blood pressure before and after taking the drug, and calculate a test statistic. The sampling distribution of that test statistic, under the assumption that the null hypothesis is true, would be used to determine the p-value or critical value for the hypothesis test. After defining the sampling distribution, the next step is to determine how to make a decision about the null hypothesis. One common approach is to calculate the p-value, which represents the probability of obtaining the test statistic at least as extreme as the observed one, assuming that the null hypothesis is true. This probability is visually represented by the area under the sampling distribution curve that lies beyond the observed test statistic. If this p-value is smaller than a predetermined significance level, alpha, typically set at 0.05, we reject the null hypothesis in favor of the alternative hypothesis. This significance level acts as a threshold, indicating that the observed results are unlikely to have occurred by random chance alone if the null hypothesis was indeed true. Alternatively, the critical value approach defines a rejection region in the sampling distribution. The location of the rejection region depends on the significance level, alpha, the type of test, one-tailed or two-tailed, and the test statistic being used. If the test statistic falls within the critical region, we reject the null hypothesis. Both the critical value approach and the p-value approach lead to the same conclusion regarding the null hypothesis, though they frame the decision differently. The choice of which method to use often depends on personal preference or the specific requirements of the research. If you'd like to test your knowledge on this topic, be sure to check the quiz link in the description below or visit our community page. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe for more statistics content.